welcome. It seems like a lifetime since um, the last one I did, uh, probably two weeks ago since I last filmed. But we've still made progress on the garden. Uh, we've had a few bits in between uh, that I've done. And you saw last week's video uh, with the outdoors, so that was another job I needed to get done. But as you can see, <coughs> the top portion is, uh, is well on its way. I've also cleaned up these bottom ones, which are now probably a bit dirty again. Um, but I'm really liking the finish that's come in with that. A um, bit of a patina, if you like, of it. Rustic look. Um, I'm going to coat them and uh, sort of batter them up a bit with a bar to, to all match in. I'm going to keep ploughing degreaser on them uh, and clean them up best I can. Um, I am going to have to order <coughs> about 10 more sleepers to finish these portions off. We've got enough for that corner and enough for up there. Uh, and then we've got this in. So what we've done at the top, which weren't part of the original plan, is tiered it. <coughs> so what we've done, mirrored this corner in that corner around the tree stump. The tree stumps are holding the wall in place. Um, so, hence the reason why I've left them in. Then we've gone all the way down, and then in that corner, which is today's job, mirror sort of this setup in that corner. Please note, this is not the finished article. We've also ran the irrigation pipe in. I've received all the sprinklers now so we can get that done. <coughs> and uh, that is gonna probably, we think, in the center of the garden. So I'll take you for a little spin up here. So you can begin to see what the actual lawn area is gonna be. So yeah, it's all coming together. We're gonna flatten all this off, backfill that corner, now that's in and all set. Get it ready, that can be planted and then we're having bark on there. We'll finish this today and then take it from there. It's very muddy. So all the rain we've had, it sort of halt to play a little bit, but <clears throat> here's what it is, part, part and parcel. Um, positive to it we're beginning to see slabs become available so we may not be held up anymore so yeah we'll get cracking today see what we get done and then I might finish tonight off with cleaning the top ones off and giving these another clean up but yeah we'll just play it by ear and see what we get done we're making great progress so far so I'm over the moon with that so let's get cracking turning out so yesterday we got that additional post in there concreted in cut the slope which matches that so when when you stood down at the bottom of the patio and we got the return in and then we filled back filled it all all the way across and then cleaned over there up uh, around that tree uh, and made it square so yeah 
looking a lot finished now and um, down here you can really begin to see where it's going to turn out like so on there we're going to plant it uh, and put bark um, and that should sort of tidy up and finish it and then I'll also membrane which I've got now so we can spread this out then we'll know what levels we're at and all this we're going to spread that as well and, and get it leveled then we'll rotivate it and uh, loosen it all up because it's, it's gone pretty solid now and um, get the levels get it perfect and then it's ready for seeding but as I've previously explained in another video we're having an irrigation system now I had concerns over water flow uh, not necessarily pressure um, but the flow uh, is apparently what you need for a good sort of spread on the sprinklers now the system I've gone for and what I'm going to do now is sort of trial run it so we've gone for these right, right way around clabber um, which is these now these are pop-up sprinklers four inch and uh, you basically screw this bottom piece in so I've got some more there and some T pieces there and then that is the pipe that we've run all the way around however we're going to change that and I think I'm going to run it in the center of the garden to get better spread uh, or coverage if you like and then run it diagonally down there so um, I bought a compass and that's coming today so I'm going to draw it out but what I wanted to do now is just sort of pull the pipe out that we've put in already and mock it up in the center not bury it or anything get three or four of these connected and just see how it performs so I'll get the GoPro set up and uh, we'll get going and see how it works out really and uh, I'm intrigued and I'm hopeful there is options to possibly put a uh, pump on it but I want to avoid that if I can help it but is what it is so see what we achieve <laughs> in there and then the pipe runs up here do appreciate this is a mock up so we've put an elbow there and all they are the compression fittings uh, I don't know if you can see like that so you put the uh, sort of gland on the pipe push the pipe onto the connector and then it just compresses down and forms it I will be PTFE and all that and then it obviously runs down the central garden so very rough mock-up I've only used three at the minute I've got six um, so eventually I want it to run sort of down here and then down the middle and um, there to cover both sides so let's give it a try I've not adjusted to these the particular sprinklers we've got um, can vary between 0 and 350 degrees um, so you just sort of adjust them as you go and then there's a little allen key on top that you can adjust the range so I'm going to get an allen key and then we'll switch on and see what happens This is the first one in the series and as you can see it's, it's gone up the four inches and it's covering a good area now as we move to the second one I've turned this one down because I've noticed with all three on they weren't coming up so I presume not enough pressure um, so I've turned that one down still covering reasonable and I've turned this one off if I do the opposite and turn them all on they don't even come up so I'm thinking 
the solution is going to have to be a pump of some sort to increase the flow and pressure um, so it's suitable. I might try again later tonight when not many people are using water and just see how we get on but yeah we needed to try it to see. I want to add another three to it so yeah this is what it is so never mind I will leave this video here we've had another successful sort of weekend we've got them in we've at least tested the irrigation now and we know what we need to move forward with it so yeah thanks for watching please give a thumbs up if you're enjoying the progress and be sure to subscribe and if you want to check out more day-to-day -day updates go and check out instagram the underscore diy underscore journey for more updates on a daily basis thanks for watching catch you in the next one cheers